Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel and and video. Here I am going to having my explanation on uh, another analysis which is on bank loan case study, which is completely done on MS Excel. So my name is Snehil, as you can see on the screen also. It is mentioned here. And uh, let's get to start about explanation on that this analysis. So let's first understand about the description about this analysis so in this analysis the aim to analyze loan risk of bank here i want to clear one thing when i say bank or company both are same mean so don't be confused and uh, please remember this till last let's say when the bank or company receives a loan application the bank has to decide for loan approval on the based on applicants profile so here or uh, here you all in bank have you noticed that uh, there are two types of people or applicants were present in each and everywhere just like uh, majority of the people are in positive can say they are able to pay the loan on time and uh, there are some people can say minority who are unable to pay the loan amount on time or can say the, some of maybe defaulters also so can say if the applicant is uh, able to pay the loan on time and then not approving the loan to them then it would be a loss for com uh, for bank or company and uh, second factor is if the applicant is uh, not able to pay the bank uh, loans amount then maybe there are some defaulters for also present then approving the loan to all that kind of applicants that may be lead to the financial loss for bank let's move towards as a description i told this so it's all mean same and if you want to uh, about this to know about this you can pause the video and read about this you can get it easily no need to worry and about the tag stack i i told you earlier that i worked on uh, ms excel for this analysis end to end so let's talk about approach and missing values this is about my task that what i have done so as a purpose of data cleaning that how clean uh, how i clean my data that this is a very huge data set that i worked on and uh, in the in this data set i worked on lakhs of number of rows and uh, above 100 of columns were presented in this data set so let from my excel sheet let me show that how i have concluded this or calculated this data cleaning process so here you can see this is my raw data set yeah you can easily see that that uh, there are number of rows were presented that 3 lakh 7514 number of rows present and if i talk about the number of columns you can see here when i click here 25 there are yes uh, see on bottom there are total sorry it is not showing that what i expected yeah here you can see there are one 23 columns were present so as uh, actually you all know that if you are from this analysis background then you all know that we can't use all the columns for analysis so we have to kept only relevant columns for my analysis so how i kept the uh, relevant columns this i have uh, decided on the based on percentage of null values so if the columns having percentage of null values greater than 30% greater than 30% then i removed that all that column and if the column having a percentage of null values less than 30% i kept those column and after kept uh, after keeping the uh, columns of less than 30% of percentage of null value uh, the second is how, how i found the how i found the missing values in relevant uh, cells and particular cells and columns sorry particular cells so to find the missing values in particular cells i use the distribution statistics that is mean and mode to find the uh, missing values in in particular or can say specific cells so by this approach i cleaned the data and uh, found the missing values in cells so by doing this task my this task is completed approach and missing values and moving towards my second slide which is about outliers let me clear outliers basically uh, tell me sorry let me tell you that outliers in simple words can say exception scenario exception scenario which uh, can't include in our analysis can say 
विच इज़ टोटली अनएक्सपेक्टेड और कैन से एक्सेप्शन और माइनॉरिटी ऑफ दी थिंग्स आर हैपन वन अबाउट वन परसेंट वन पॉइंट टू परसेंट और इन जीरो पॉइंट समथिंग परसेंट वॉर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन सम ऑफ दी डेटा सेट्स आउट आयर तो ईच एंड एवरी सीनारी आउट आयर प्रेजेंट सो इन दिस एक्स फाइव प्लॉटर यू ऑल कैन सी डेट द टारगेट वन दे आर अफ्यू एप्लीकेंट्स हु ड्रॉ एन इनकम ऑफ इलेवन करोर्स वेयर एज मेजोरिटी ऑफ द एप्लीकेंट्स ड्रॉइंग एन इनकम इन लैक्स ओनली हेयर इन दिस ग्राफ और इन दिस एक्स वाई प्लॉटर यू कैन सी एंड मूव टूवर्ड्स द सेकेंड आउट लैस विच इज अबाउट द चिल्ड्रेंस ऑफ एप्लीकेंट्स हेयर यू कैन सी दैट टारगेट जीरो एप्लीकेंट्स हैविंग मैक्सिमम नाइनटीन चिल्ड्रेंस वेयर एज टारगेट वन एप्लीकेंट्स हैविंग मैक्सिमम इलेवन चिल्ड्रेंस यू कैन गेटिंग दिस दैट टूडे इज जनरेशन देर आर एप्लीकेंट्स हु आर हैविंग नाइनटीन चिल्ड्रेंस एंड इलेवन चिल्ड्रेंस विच इज हाईली अनयूजल सो this is this comes under outliers and moving towards my last outlier which is about uh days of employed of an of an applicants that uh, there are few uh, applicants in target 1 and 0 were employed for thousands of years which is impossible in today in in, in all can say in time whereas uh, majority of applicants are employed for around 80 to 90 in graph you can sorry in this scatter plotter you can easily getting this by the dots so this also comes under in outliers which is not possible in scenarios in today's generation and uh, by this my outliers is completed and uh, let me show outliers on my excel sheet how it looks like how i calculated that uh, this is my first outlier amount total income here you can see with the help of interquartile range i uh, found a outliers amount income total and this is about uh, can say i uh, i get calculated this with the help of this data analysis tool and with this i summarized all the mean median mode standard deviation sample variations minimum range sum and count so this is my second outlier count children and this is my days employed outliers which is last let's talk about second uh, this uh, task data imbalance so here you can see uh, let me talk about the data imbalance data imbalance is about a ratio between two variables so about more on this you can get on from net because uh, explaining on this uh, which we are waste of time which makes our video lengthy so i am skip, skip, uh, skipping this part sorry about this so in this data and balance sheet uh, showing the ratio of total applicants with payment difficulties that is target 1 to the total applicants with payment made on time that is target 0 and the ratio is 11 is to 39 and uh, from graph you can see that uh, out of total applicants of 3,7511 the 92 percentage of applicants which make payment on time whereas uh, there are majority of applicants were making payment on time and there are uh, let's say whereas 8 percent applicants uh, unable to making an payment on time or can say having difficulty in payment or repaying the loan so which comes under a minority class so this is about a data imbalance that how data imbalance you can see there at a 98 percentage here the bar is increased and here uh, just beside of this 8 percent the bar is very minimized so uh, so in like the imbalance kind of thing so this is about this data imbalance and moving my towards next task which is about uh, univariate analysis one thing i want to tell you before uh, this analysis explanation uh, this univariate analysis and uh, by it's also having an a bivariate type of this analysis univariate and bivariate so all these two analysis are the root of this analysis most of the insights or can say conclusion is based on this analysis univariate and bivariate so please uh, having an attention on this analysis so first uh, let's talk about what is univariate analysis this analysis refers to the analysis of data contains only one variable i am repeating again only one variable that doesn't deal with the cause or relationship means that univariate doesn't deal with the cause or relationship and the main purpose of this univariate analysis is to describe about the data and find the pattern if it is exist in it and uh, there is in a graph is present here which an example of this univariate analysis which shows the count of every applicant includes both 0 and 1 and of column amount credit grouped in different income bins here you can say that the amount credit and uh, sorry here the amount credit yeah yeah you can see here 
yeah here yeah, the amount credit grouped in different credit bins sorry there are the mistake where i have to mention credit bins but i mentioned income bins so this is a credit bins in the place of income bins please assume that it mentioned that credit bins here and it is showing that uh, the amount credit grouped in different credit bins and uh, which is showing majority of the applicants got loan approval of credit range between 9 lakhs and above so here it is saying that uh, uh, majority of the applicants got the loan approval of 9 lakhs and above this is insights which is getting from this univariate analysis and i am moving towards segmented univariate analysis so there is a uh, small difference segmented univariate and the univariate and uh, let's clear that what is about segmented univariate so segmented univariate analysis refers to the data contains only one variable same as univariate but here the segmented means refers to the analysis in subset of variable for this let's from an uh, example let's say target is an a uh, one variable and uh, target having two subset variable which is 0 and 1 i talked about this each and every slides i hope you remember 0 and 1 so this above graph is an example of segmented analysis which shows most of the applicants include 0 and 1 drawing income between 1 lakh to 2.25 lakhs here you can see also from graph also there are the 1 lakh to 2.25 lakhs the number of applicants bar is increases or can say the maximize and uh, very few target uh, target one applicants are drawing an income 5 lakh and above at last you can see here the last so 5 lakhs and above we are very few applicants 146 were the target one applicants who are drawing an income of 5 lakhs and above which can be the reason of difficulty in payment this is because difficulty in payment uh, the bank uh, the bank is not appro not approving to all the client of target one can say majority of the clients bank is decline to approve the payment for or can say approval of a high amount of loan to target one applicants yeah now we are going to talk about bivariate analysis so this bivariate analysis refers to the data contains two different variables and it deals with the causes and relationship uh, between two different uh, variables and the main purpose of this analysis is to find the relationship among two variables if it is exist in data so from this uh, graph which is on your uh, which is on my screen you can getting this that there are two variables income bins and the average of amount credit and uh, both are directly proportional to each other that if one variable means that value of one variable uh, uh, will increase the value of another variable will also increase and uh, if i talk about this particular graph the income of the income range between uh, 5 lakh and above is Uh, is very high so on that basis the amount credit of uh, loan is also very high so as if i talk about in a real world scenario if uh, how much i earn on that behalf my amount credit of loan will also depends if i earn more money then amount of loan will also very high if i earn medium kind of section then amount credit will also depend on that particular income so it depends person to person so at last i conclude that as the income increase the amount credit of loan will also increase so now i am moving towards correlation but moving towards correlation i want to tell about before uh, sorry i want to tell about this credit bins and the income bins where i used in many of slides or many of my insights that how i created this income bins and the credit bins in uh, my data set where i where i used is this many times so i am moving towards that on my excel sheet and going to show you that how i used this income income bin and credit bin so in this sheet you are uh, seeing that uh, there are two uh, four columns basically income income bin credit and credit bins i created this manually and after that creating this manually i used this columns on my final data set as a part of income bin column and credit bins columns so in income bins columns i calculated the range of amount total income and categorized in particular income bins with the help of this vlookup function so with this help of vlookup function i categorized each and each and every value of amount income total in income bin range and uh, as uh, as i does for same for this credit bin also so by this method i created particular bin for income and credit now i am moving towards my correlation 
so let's move to correlation let's talk about what is correlation so in uh, this task i'm uh, going to tell about correlation and uh, having the correlation on different variables so just first talk about that what is correlation so correlation is about uh, to find the relationship among different variables so how can we find this correlation among variable first let me uh, let me show you the that how did i find this correlation among applicants so let me open my excel file here you can see uh, for target 0 i have selected some relevant columns to find the correlation among uh, different variable only for target applicant 0 so this correlation for target 0 applicants the applicants who can make payment on time so yeah i selected total nine column and among them i find the correlation i have to find the correlation so after the selecting the relevant column i have this in this slide you can see i have found the correlation can say i calculated them with the help of coral function and after calculating the correlation i just highlighted this value with the help of conditional formatting and color scale bar you can see there are some of the some few colors also over there which uh, represents the heat map to show the correlation among different variables so by this i used this color uh, combination of three color red white and blue here here in this uh, blue color you can see that it is showing the strongest correlation and uh, uh, here the in red color it is showing the weakest uh, relationship among different variables so let me take to my slide back uh, yeah in this you can see uh, amount total income to amount credit it shows the strongest relationship among uh, this amount income total and amount credit and the second strongest relationship among days birth and the days employed variable so as same it is also for the weakest relationship it is showing here like days birth and uh, count children and uh, region rating versus like region population relative you can see so as same i did also for uh, correlation for applicants with payment difficulties which means that target one applicants as same for this i have done not, i have changed nothing as simple concept i have implemented this for correlation for applicants with having a payment difficulties so here i can see there are some of the relationships showing the strongest and here are some of the relationship showing weakest and uh, here you can see days birth two days employed and the days id published two days birth here at the last of these this is slide i only mentioned the strongest relationship among variables i have didn't mention this uh, weakest relationship but as can say only we have to go for the positive value so by elaborating this slide my analysis is done and uh, i have explained each and everything on my excel sheet also let me show you again my excel sheet there you can see yeah so my target one is same as i told you in target zero so here you can see all the things were same so let me take to my back excel sheet oh sorry ppt here you can see my last slide i used in dashboard where i uh, filtered the values according to our requirement as per client also and uh, at last uh, there are some results you can see that applicants drawing the higher income were offered the higher credit second majority of the applicants got loan approval of credit range 9 lakhs and above and most of the applicants including 0 and 1 both drawing an income range between 1 to 2.25 lakh so this is i mentioned this in result and uh, which is can say it uh, it is a decision point of view and uh, for more in-depth analysis you want to do then you can get this link i have pasted my excel sheet there or uh, you can get that and having a depth analysis but at last i like to say that uh, don't copy try yourself and use this as reference only use this sheet only for reference don't do copy it and all at last uh, i would like to say thank you for reaching this last uh, slide of this video uh, i hope i'll see you in my next video till then take care bye bye